versus Ohio State. Chris Freeman will send it away. Xavier Johnson, the deep man, and we're underway from Columbus. Johnson will field it inside the five, crosses the 20, and will be wrapped up at the 25-yard line. First down and 10 for Ohio State at the 25-yard line. They'll fly it out wide. Marvin Harrison Jr., and he's chopped down quickly. No gain on the play. Nicely done, Jalen Williams. Mayan Williams gets to start at running back. Travion Henderson down today. On second down and 10. Here's Stroud underneath, hits Fleming. And Julian Fleming, the junior, makes the grab. Gains eight defensively for IU. Third down and two at the 33. Stroud in the shotgun. Here's CJ back to pass with time in trouble. Rolls out of the pocket, gets a block. Looking for the first down, and it doesn't look like he'll get it. Looks like he was knocked out of play by Jalen Williams prior to getting to the line to gain. We'll see. A one-yard pickup on third and two. Boy, he was trying to get this line to gain. Look at him lower his shoulder, and that is a big collision there. Great job by Jalen Williams from Memphis, Tennessee. Comes up and makes the tackle, forces C.J. Stroud out just before that line to gain, and Ohio State will go three and out on their first series. James Head with pressure. So that brings up fourth down and one. Jesse Mirko punted away from the 20. Connor Delp is the deep man. Delp fields it at the 19 and dragged down at the 15. Terrific special teams coverage, a 47-yard punt, and no return. Nobody snaps the ball quicker than Indiana on a snap-in and snap-out basis. On first down, they'll hand it off. And not a lot of room. Shivers may have gained one. Bazelak to throw it again over the middle, and it's broken up, incomplete. Third down and nine. And here's Bazelak to throw it underneath. Caught A.J. Barner, not enough for the first down. He gains five on third and nine. Indiana will have to punt it away. And I don't know if there is an assistant coach in America that has done more in one year than Jim Knowles. James Evans punting it away, and Abuka is the deep man. He'll clear that ball loose. I don't know if it was touched by Ohio State. Indiana says it's their football. And they'll give it back to the Bucks. Here comes C.J. Stroud. First down and 10. At his own 35-yard line, Mayan Williams in the backfield with him, and they'll give it to Williams straight ahead with running room, and he'll get close to that first down. Well, the Bucks fans, you heard the little murmur right there, right? Because they're like, you bet you, we want to see that positive run game. And they'll pitch it to Williams down the sidelines. Mayan Williams out of bounds at the Indiana 25. Jonathan Haynes pushes him out of play, but it's a gain of 31. Well, this is a nice job of this offensive line. Watch as they're moving over to their right, and they just cover up color. And then Williams does a good job of reading those blocks. Good job by Abuka, number two, on the outside. He gets a block right there. That springs William for another big run. That's two in a row now out of this run game. There's Trevion Henderson unavailable today. 26 carries, 111 yards, and two touchdowns last week against Northwestern for Williams. Here's a reverse, Marvin Harrison Jr. Looking for a block, now with a burst, gets the first down, cuts it back. Marvelous, down inside the five-yard line of Indiana, a gain of 18 for number 18. First down and goal at the five-yard line. Williams in the backfield. And C.J. Stroud wants to run it himself, cuts it back, but will be tackled for a loss. Indiana sitting right on that play. Aaron Casey, as well as Alfred Bryant, combining on the tackle. That's a loss of one yard. Second down and goal at the six. Here's Stroud to throw it this time. In the end zone, and incomplete. Harrison the target. Taiwan Mullen there, though. Breaks that one up. The six yard line, second series for the Buckeyes. CJ Stroud looking, guns it in the end zone, touchdown. Ameka Abuka. Abuka's right here, and he's just going to come in. He's just going to hook up right into the end zone. 
and there was way too much depth given by those Indiana defensive backs. They can't be backing up all the way halfway into the end zone. Just an easy turn back to the quarterback. The book is there for the touchdown. 30th passing touchdown of the season for C.J. Stroud. Nor Ruggles with the extra point, and it's good. And for Stroud, he failed to throw a touchdown pass for the first time in his career as a starter last week. And he throws one early today. Here's Lucas trying to get outside. Finally dragged down from behind at the 26 yard line. Nice tackle. Cody Simon. First and 10 of the 25. Shivers in the backfield. And Bazelak dumps it off incomplete. Barner the target. That one thrown at his feet. Brings up second and 10. Bazelak with the pitch to Shivers. Little hole, Shivers will tumble forward, gains four yards close to the 30 York yard line. Tui Moloa with the tackle. Third down and six at the 29. Bazelak looking for the first down, decides to run it, and will be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing there. Vincent with the tackle in the middle. Teron Vincent was so highly recruited coming into his career hitter here at Ohio State and he's just reaching that potential this year. He's been excellent so far this year. Evans sends it away. Ibuka lets it drop and it'll take an Indiana roll and be downed inside the 25 yard line. First down and 10 of the 22. And it's Mayan Williams breaking tackles with a stiff arm, trying to break it back. Stood up and will be dropped at the 29 by Aaron Casey, a seven yard run. Here's a handoff. Williams again. First down, Ohio State. Michigan has Illinois next week. First down and 10 of the 38. Stroud flips it out. And it's Xavier Johnson. Johnson down the sideline with running room. Xavier Johnson finally crashes out of bounds inside the 30 a 32 yard reception. I know that was a little flip out swing route, but Gus, these guys are getting after it. Here's Stroud. Sets up. Looks deep. And incomplete. Harrison had a step. On second and ten, they'll run it straight ahead with Williams. And Maya Williams, who's been banged up this season, carrying the load, a heavy load. Williams running right this time. Williams picks up the first down and more as he gets to the 13. Aaron Casey hauls him down, but it's a 10 yard gain and a first down. I tell you what, they're doing a good job. And again, Josh Fryer, number 70. This is not your normal starter. Dewan Jones, the normal right tackle, is out, and fire has been great. Williams again. This time will be tackled for a loss. Remember, earlier this year against Rutgers, he had five rushing touchdowns, which tied the Ohio State record. Hayden will get a carry. Hayden with a burst. Hayden in the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State. 14 yards as the freshman hits Pater. There's just nobody out here. There's just nobody in the support area, and Hayden's able to just look at that and say, okay, I can burst out there and get into the end zone. Part of that is how wide the formation was. The wide receivers spread out way far. No support player there, and that's an easy touchdown. Fielding sends it away. Lucas inside his own five tries to get outside with a little bit of a lane and goes out of play at the 20 yard line. But Coach Knowles doing a wonderful job here in Columbus as Indiana fumbles the snap and they'll lose two or three yards on the play. Gus, I mean, it's not just his teaching style, but it's the actual scheme of what they use. So second down and 12, ball caught. Emory Simmons will get out of bounds. He's close to the first down in front of Lathan Ransom. You know, you, you've got these three safeties, and they're, they're kind of all over the field, and it's just really difficult to know where they're at. And Barner with the catch, but he's gang-tackled. 
Steel Chambers Cameron Bar Brown combining on the play and Indiana will have to punt once again James Evans will punt from his 12 Omeka Abuka is the deep man he goes over to the sideline that ball trickles out of bounds and we'll stay right here first down and 10 at the 42 Stroud winds up goes deep has a man caught Marvin Harrison Jr. touchdown marvelous Mar 58 yards he's got to get involved in the run game they go that run fake and then boom Harrison is by him because they have to commit the resources to stopping Brian Williams. That's why it's important for Ohio State to establish their run game early in games. They play on their terms and create big plays. Extra point is good. Marvin Harrison Jr. just turning out to be a joy to watch just like his dad was at Syracuse. I, he's the best wide receiver in college football. Here's Bazelak. Make that Dexter Williams with a run, and he gets out of bounds. Nice gain of 16 yards. And it's Josh Henderson with the run. He'll gain one yard on the play. That's why you see these wide receivers see out there now bunched in. Now they're going to bunch in and try to run the ball. Second down and nine at the 42. Play action. Williams sets up, fires a deep ball. And caught! Anderson Kobe ran a great route, camped under it, gains 47 yards, and all of a sudden, Dexter Williams comes into the game throwing strikes. First down and goal at the 10 yard line. Can Indiana pay it off? Henderson in the backfield. Dexter Williams hands it to him, and he'll get inside the 10 a three yard game extra Williams 6 1 200 redshirt sophomore from Macon Georgia second and goal at the seven and Williams rolls out looking and he'll just get rid of it throwing it out of the back of the end zone third down and goal at the eight Williams floats it in the corner caught touchdown AJ Barner Throw it up high in the big tight end at 6-6. Hauls it down. And Indiana on the board with a little juice now with Dexter Williams in the game at QB. Well, this is a mismatch. A.J. Barner, 6'6", 250, working against Cam Brown, who's back in the lineup. He's only 6 foot 192. Brown has good position, but look, he just goes up and over. A.J. Barner, I think, is their best skill position player on the outside. They give him a chance in the end zone, and he's able to bring it down. Charles Campbell good on the extra point six plays 75 yards for Indiana Xavier Johnson back deep starts from the three yard line with a lane gets across the 30 finally thrown down at the 34. And that'll take us to the end of the first quarter. Our score as we start the second quarter, first down and 10. Buckeyes at their own 33. Here's a handoff to Mayan Williams trying to get outside, bottled up, and it'll be tackled for a loss. Matthews, first man to him, but there is a flag on the play. During the run, holding offense number eight. That penalty is declined. Second down. Loss of three. Second and 13 at the 30. C.J. Stroud over the middle. And caught Marvin Harrison Jr. again. He just caught his 11th receiving touchdown of the year. This reception for 26 yards. And you just wonder, is this kid a Heisman candidate as well, Joel Klein? Well, he's certainly going to be in line for a Bolitnikoff award. I mean, that's not even all that accurate a throw. Do you see him go back to his back shoulder? Look at that. I mean, he just makes it look so easy. I'm telling you, this guy is just a sensational player. First down at the 45. Stroud play fake, sets up, guns it over the middle, and incomplete. Julian Fleming looks like he had that one knocked out of his hands by Lanier, 
You know, I don't mean to disagree with you, but I think on defense here is Fleming's chest. Yep, that's right. He just eject button on his own chest, and we saw that far too often last week, but that one just a clear drop. Second and 10 at the 45. Williams. Gain a yard. Maybe two. Third down and eight at the 43. Stroud in trouble and incomplete. Great pressure coming from the strong side for C.J. Stroud, and Ohio State will have to punt it away. Well, you're going to watch Aaron Casey. Here he is, and he's just going to swing around, and he's going to be right in the face of C.J. Stroud, who then can't get enough on that ball as he's trying to find Abuka going across the field. And Abuka just can't go and corral that pass, and Ohio State will have to punt. Standing at the 43, Connor Delp is the deep man for IU at the 5. And he has it inside the 10-yard line, 34-yard punt. Dexter Williams in a quarterback, replacing Bazelak. This time it's Shivers on the ground. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage and gain two yards on the play. Second down and eight at the 11. Williams sets up a screen on the far side. Doesn't fool anybody. How about that? Ronnie Hickman brings down A.J. Barner. A loss of two yards. Oh, nine yard line. Williams has got a nice arm. Steps up, wants to run it, looking for a block, and it'll be hauled down. Whoa! What a tackle by Steel Chambers. Come here, man. Up and make the tackle. Dexter Williams trying to find that edge, but remember, Steel Ta Chambers, who used to be a running back, he's got that athleticism, and he's able to make the tackle. Got a great college football name, Steel Chambers, as Indiana's Evan sends it away. Ibuka. And he has it at the 43. 44 yard punt. Really nice thing to watch as Mayan Williams runs it straight ahead. And he'll get about seven and a half, eight yards on the play. You know, that, ty that type of run right there, just straight downhill, I think that's where Ohio State needs to major in their run game. Second down and one, Stroud to Williams, and that's incomplete. Williams looking for the first down has more Williams 30 20 10 touchdown Mayan Williams and Ohio State 48 yards. Well Mayan Williams running downhill is where he needs to be and there's the hole. I think Ohio State gets away with a little hold right there on their center Luke Whipler. And Williams takes advantage. It's wide open, and there's the burst. You see the speed, and this run game has clearly shown up today. They are hitting their stride running the football. Ohio State 160 yards rushing. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. As Ohio State takes a 28 to 7 lead here in the first half. So first down at the 25 yard line for the Hoosiers. And it's Williams running it and he'll get out of bounds. Dexter Williams. On second and three here's the pitch. And Tommy Eichenberg comes up and makes the play with Dexter Williams. Here's Williams to throw it steps up flags everywhere incomplete. Emory Simmons the target couldn't hold on but there is a flag. Personal foul. Chop block on the office. Number 12. Not. That penalty will be declined. Result of the play, fourth down. So watch as Jalen Lucas, he's going to block Steel Chambers low as Chambers is engaged with number 50, Zach Carpenter. That's when the flag comes out. All the flags, <laughs> all three of them. Their punter inside his own 20. Ibuka allows it to take a bounce and will be down close to the 15 yard line. 
Stroud. Sideline. Harrison tries to turn it up. And Marvin Harrison Jr. up to the 29. Taiwan Mullen had to hold on after a gain of 12. And, but if I had to put one on there, it's definitely yards after the catch. Hayden, who scored a touchdown, the freshman from Memphis, running it. Bradley Jennings with the stop. When you put together all three, you get a supernova. And that's exactly what Marvin Harrison Jr. is. Second down and four, Hayden. Stroud, cool customer today. 7 of 12, 143 yards, two touchdowns. Here's Stroud to throw it all day. Stroud now gets out of the pocket on the move. Cross his body, incomplete. Stover, the tight end, who had a big touchdown reception against Penn State. Can't hold on. Jalen Williams in coverage. Hovering around his own 20. Here go, end over end kick. And fair caught at the 29. On the campus here at Ohio State, the world famous Ohio State, earlier this week on Thursday, as Williams drops back, throws this one way down the field. Incomplete. And how he won those four gold medals in Berlin in front of a bad man who was promoting a bad theory of racial superiority. It's Third down and four. Let's see if Dexter Williams can move this football. Dexter throws it to the sideline. Oh, incomplete. Ronnie Hickman in coverage. Simmons, the target. This defense last year was not good. And Jim Knowles has made them one of the better defenses in the entire country. In the meantime, ball down to the 15. Let's check in with Rob Stone. And, and you guys are going to kill it. Yes, we are. First down. <laughs> you nailed it, Clatter. We are. Thanks, brother. Hayden. Second and seven at the 19. C.J. Stroud. Sideline. Oh, Marvin Harrison Jr. was open again. Stroud will wish that he had that one back. Third down and seven at the 19-yard line. Stroud winds up again in the seam and caught. Well done, Cade Stover, the tight end. He's got soft hands, folks, to be such a big guy at 6'4", 255. How about the ball placement right there? That was an excellent throw. Probably better catch there as he's working right down the middle of the field against Devon Matthews, the safety for Indiana. Stroud handing it off. Williams. Williams breaking tackles. And he'll pick up a first down. This kid is rugged. No Pierre with the tackle. They pitch it to Williams. And Williams leads forward. They got one of the biggest offensive lines in the country. They need to let him move forward and not side to side. Stroud setting up. Backing up. Dancing around. Got rid of it. Almost intercepted. That ball broken up by Taiwan Mullen. C.J. Stroud. Sideline. High and incomplete. I don't know if Harrison. Oh, he got a foot in bounds. How did he get a foot in bounds? Marvin Harrison Jr. again. I mean, did he go back with his inside foot? to touch watch this as he's trying to go down and this this left foot kind of slips out and then he goes touch oh my goodness you are kidding me this guy is unreal unreal here's a pitch Williams Williams will get to the 22 Devon Matthews with the tackle for Indiana Williams another hole and Mayan Williams will get inside the 20. Aaron Casey stops him, and Williams is slow to get up. Well, and this has been the problem with that backfield is that they have not been able to gain any consistency because of the injury bug. They've Trayvon. dealt with it with Mayan Williams, and now today Trayvon Henderson is, is down, and that's been one of the things that Ryan Day has explained to us that they've been lamenting. Gets rolled up on right 
there at the end of the play you can see those feet get rolled up on by Aaron Casey number 44 and he is slow coming off the field. Ugh. So three backs banged up for Ohio State Travion Henderson now Mayan Williams going down has to be helped off chip train him. You know he had the one carry on that fake punt against Rutgers third down and two. Hayden. Williams being carted off. Fourth down and they'll go forward and I don't think Ohio State got it. They didn't. On fourth and one no gain so Indiana holds and Ohio State turns it over on downs. Dexter Williams in at quarterback for Connor Bayslack. Williams steps up in the pocket runs it and is tackled as he crosses the 20 by Zach Harrison a four yard gain. Indiana quickly to the line of scrimmage second and six from the 22. Here's Lucas and he'll pick up a first down. Boy when he gets the ball doesn't it just look different. First down. Dexter Williams underneath caught. Lucas tries to turn it up wrapped up by Tommy Eichenberg. Dexter Williams in trouble uses his speed and he'll get out of bounds close to the first down with 49 seconds to go. And he'll hand it off to Lucas and Lucas picks up the first down. Now it restarts 40 seconds to go first down Williams floats it's got a receiver wow. Beautiful throw Holt Bennett with the catch a 29 yard gain. Boy both of those safeties way wide and they just went right down the middle of the field for an easy completion. Here's Williams again. Sideline this time. And incomplete. Indiana. With one timeout remaining. Second down and 10 of the 29. Williams in trouble and he's sacked. Great pressure. Steel Chambers, Lathan Ransom. Combining on the sack. Dexter Williams looking. Dexter Williams sacked again. Woo! Jack Sawyer laying the wood along with Ty Hamilton. And that'll take us to the end of the first half. See what kind of adjustments the Buckeyes make when they get the ball on offense. Let's go downstairs to Jenny. On first down, here's a reverse. Simmons with a lane. Simmons breaking it downfield. Simmons out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Terrific play call. Lathan Ransom finally gets to him. First down at the 31. And the flea flicker they throw it down the field and it is incomplete opening drive of the second half for Indiana second down and 10 at the Ohio State 31 Shivers you'll get to the 25 nice run gain of six and they'll go straight ahead with Shivers Fourth down and two at the 23. Play fake. They dump it high and incomplete. Wow. Dexter Williams. Steinfeld was open, but he threw it too high, and Indiana turns it over on down. Well, what you're going to get, it's a little bit of a slide route, and he's open. And Williams right here, he's just got to be a little bit patient. If he's patient and he can just try to drop it over the top, but that one's just thrown too high. Hayden in. The game at running back now. And they'll give it to the freshman. And he'll get to the 30. It looks like this kid's got a burst, Joel. Give it to him again. Looking for the first down. He'll dive. Out of Memphis, Tennessee. It's Gerald coming up with the tackle. 
great job on defense. Watch Fitzgerald 31. He's going to enter your screen. He flew up from his safety spot, and he's responsible for the quarterback. Connor Delt at the 25. Delt with the fair catch signal and has it at the 22. 45 yard punt. First down and 10 of the 23 for IU. And they'll stay on the ground. This is Josh Henderson, the senior from Pennington, New Jersey. Second down and seven. Outside, Henderson goes with the first down as he slips through the hole and keeps the chains moving. 11-yard gain. Ty Hamilton stops. Well, he's going to get around the edge, but I want you to watch JT Tuimolo out. He gets held by New Luke Haggard right there on the left side. They get away with it and move the chains. Williams stepping up in the pocket and sacked again. Fourth sack for Ohio State. Lathan Ransom. He's having a heck of a game today. Second down and 17 after the seven yard loss. Williams looking backside and he just gets rid of it. Under pressure by Ty Hamilton. Third down and 17 at the 30. Dexter Williams out of the pocket. Throws on the move across his body incomplete. Evans from the 15 blocked loose. Ohio State has a football at the Indiana two yard line. Lathan Ransom blocked it. There's Ransom and here he comes and just a beeline to the punter. Great job goes for the foot gets it off the foot of Evans and then it's a mad dash. Buckeyes are trying for that scoop and score and Xavier Johnson's able to recover it right at the two yard line. Here comes C.J. Stroud. The handoff straight ahead. Hayden. No signal yet. And looks like he'll be down inside the one. The deep man in the eye formation. Second and goal. Play fake. Stroud. Wide open. Touchdown. K. Stover. Here's Stover on this left side. Now watch as the play action is going to go all the way to the right. That's going to get the defender to commit to Stroud in the backfield and Stover just sneaks out for an easy pitch and catch touchdown. You know Ryan Day has all those little tricks. He did it against Penn State. Remember he snuck Cade Stover right out across the middle of the field. He ran for a touchdown there. Terrific play call. Big Ten Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. When you want an edge in the competitive market, Rocket can. As they send it away, Jalen Lucas is the deep man. And he has the fair catch. First and 10 of the 25 for Indiana. Lucas. Did she just I think right she just left. Did she just leave? She <laughs> dropped the mic <laughs> and got out of here. Uh, a lot goes into going to Qatar. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh, man. Third and seven. Dexter Williams. Floats it up the sideline. Back shoulder. Incomplete. Broken up at the last minute. This time it's Cameron Brown with the pass breakup. Seventh three and out for Indiana. Evans. Abuka. And it'll be down inside the 35. During the kick, personal foul, number 21 of the kicking team with a face mask. That 15 yard penalty will be added on to the end of the kick. First down. Of 18, 188 yards and three touchdowns. Stroud looks backside, wants to run it, tries to fake, gets down the sideline, picks up a first down. Look at the quick feet. C.J. Stroud. Watch right here as he's trying to get away from Aaron Casey. There he does it. Now he's trying to keep himself in, and that step right there with his right foot looks like it may have just been out. He was trying to tiptoe, and nope, just catches a little bit of white right there with that right foot second down and two here's C.J. Stroud again and over the middle caught Woo! Ibuka got leveled but held on to the football Matthews 
with the hit. No, he knows he's going to get hit, and bam, he takes a big hit from Devon Matthews. That's the same area of the field that those kids were just running around in those big, clear, you know, like the pillowy lose. things. That's exactly what that looked like. First down at the 12. They drop it off. Stover. Nice move. Reaches. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Second touchdown of the game for Cade Stover. He is such a threat as a tight end, in particular when you've got to focus so much on the wide receivers on the outside. Does he stay up? He does. Look at that. I thought maybe that elbow was going to hit before he was able to extend across the goal line, but clearly keeps himself above the ground, extends with control of that ball for the touchdown. Extra point. Good. One of the great programs in the history of college football. Today, the attendance 103,888. Here's Scheibers gain a yard on the play. He's also his high school's scoring career leader in basketball in the hardwood. So he's got a little athleticism. Second down and nine. Shivers. Kids now specialize from a young age into a single sport. I think it's terrible. Third down and three. Williams looking for the first down, and he has it. Uh, position and he specifically mentioned Dexter Williams is I'm excited to see number five's growth and I think we're seeing that second and five at the 41 Williams with the handoff and this time Ohio State's ready Tommy Eichenberg here's Williams under pressure thrown down and sack Jack Sawyer fifth sack of the day for Ohio State well, here's Sawyer over here. Watch, he's going to go up the field, and then he's going to loop back inside of the defensive tackle. The O-line can't protect Williams, and Sawyer is there for another second. Ibuka backs up. He'll start from the 20. No room. Goes all the way back to the 15. A 51-yard punt, a loss of one. About 100,000 less people in the stands that day. But ha -ha. that was a top-10 matchup between those two teams. Remember how well Indiana had played that year, in large part due to their quarterback, Michael Penix. Stroud. They stay on the ground as Hayden. Talk about getting valuable experience. If you weren't, if you weren't with us, folks, Xavier Johnson checks in to the backfield. He's a wide receiver. C.J. Stroud winds up, guns it. Incomplete. That ball thrown behind Marvin Harrison. Out wide. And it's Harrison Jr. A gain of four. Third and six. Stroud underneath has Fleming and Julian Fleming with a nice burst gained 16 Bryant Fitzgerald with the tackle first down to the 49 CJ Stroud sideline high and incomplete Fleming the intended receiver at broken up by Taiwan Mullen and a handoff oh good tackle Aiden no gain that was Mullen that was our guy. Third down and 10 at the 49. Here's Stroud again, quickly off his hands, incomplete. Mullen right there, covering Marvin Harrison. Jesse Mirko. And it's fair caught at the 10. But what will the Buckeyes do with? This running Ooh. game with the defense playing well, Eichenberg. Man, he's good, isn't he? He's uh, okay. A little better than okay. Tommy Eichenberg, strong dude. End of the third, 42 7. High snap. Williams under pressure. Breaks contain. 
and gets out of bounds at the 16. Eight yard run, third and three. Dexter Williams, sideline throw, and that one underthrown. Gus, this Ohio State team defensively, I mean, they're really good. They forced Indiana to punt it 10 times. That ball muffed but recovered. CJ Stroud remains in the game. And wow, what a run by Xavier Johnson with a burst. Xavier Johnson, nice stutter, cross the field. Xavier down the sideline, the X-Man, 71 yards. Okay, so Xavier Johnson, he's played a little corner, a little wide receiver, a little running back in his career here. Great job up front by the offensive line. Good vision from Johnson. Finds that cutback to the right side. And now it's just about Will, right? He's just willing himself across the field. Poor tackling from Indiana and some good speed at the end to finally get into the end zone. Xavier Johnson, what a run right there for the Buckeyes. 48-7, to extra point good. The Buckeyes, the 49-7 to lead. Jalen Lucas back deep. We'll start from the 10. Gets outside up to the 30. And finally out of bounds at the 33. Irvin Harrison Jr. is still feeling the love from that block. And uh, the teammate who loves it the most, C.J. Stroud, he just keeps walking down the sideline saying, you lit him up. But boy, <laughs> they are feeling it down here. That one felt good for Marvin. Most likely. As Jalen Lucas runs it. He's got a 10-9 broad jump, and on the GPS, he was clocked at 23 miles an hour. 23 miles per hour. 20. Now, fast guys are normally Three. about 22. That's right. And another muffed punt by Stocksdale. And Indiana has the football. Reese Stocksdale has muffed his second punt of this game. Williams with the handoff to Jalen Lucas and he swarmed before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. That's a loss of a yard. Cody Simon second down and 11. Williams over the middle caught and a touchdown for IU. Donovan McCulley a 19 yard touchdown. And then he's going to sneak out down the field. There's a pump right there and then you're going to sneak down the field past those blocks you're faking that little wide receiver screen and then McCauley is wide open for a touchdown Charles Campbell extra point good 49 to 14 and you, know, you have luck. to win big <laughs> well you've got to win by a very specific score against Illinois they have to defeat Nebraska today I'll tell you though the, the, the matchup is a is a great one against Michigan because Michigan is so improved from what they were a few years ago. And Harrison Jr. Another big catch as he gets to midfield. A gain of 24. Bradley Jennings brings him down. Jennings Jr. is down. Harrison Jr. seven catches, 135, and a touchdown. Xavier Johnson. The converted wide receiver in the backfield catches it out of the backfield picks up a first down. He already has a 71 yard touchdown in this game. Here's a handoff Hayden and Hayden with a verse down the sideline out of bounds inside the 20. Bryson Bonds knocks him out of play but it's a 20 yard game. The people are going to be very pleased with the way that they ran the ball even with the running back depth issues that they've had since Mayan Williams went down in the first half. 606 yards of total offense for Ohio State. Once again, Hayden, he'll drag defenders forward. Stroud sprints out, throws on the move, and another touchdown. This time it's Cameron Babb. Oh, that is a great story. Oh. Cameron Babb, fifth season with the program, has his degree in communications, highly recruited player, but could not get on the field. Injury after injury. 
And that was his first career touchdown. And look at his teammates. Wow, how cool is that? Babb was voted captain last year in 2021 before injuring his knee again. Obviously did an excellent job. I mean, this guy has done it the right way, suffered the injuries, faced the adversity, stayed here as a Buckeye, and now finds the end zone. Such an emotional moment for this man. And how about C.J. Stroud? It doesn't matter who was on the field. He was going to throw it to Cameron Babb. That's right. And that play call was for Cameron Babb. together and you put your own agenda aside and you you start striving for a common goal you root for one another you sweat you bleed you face adversity you know people say college football is broken no it's not look at that yep first and ten of the 17 Dexter Williams runs it with space, gets a first down, keeps going, and gains 18 yards. First down, Indiana. And they'll run it. Henderson gains three. He hurt his knee as a senior year of high school. And you know, you have this vision of what it's going to be like when you go to the NFL. And it's going to be great. On third and three, they won't get it. Tell you what, one man that's got a workout in today is James Evans. <laughs> I was just going to say. The Indiana that. punter. How many punts? James Evans sends it away. And this ball will be fair caught by Jaden Ballard. You're going to do awesome. Jenny's going to be embedded with the United States team in Qatar for the World Cup, giving reports, filing reports, covering each game that the, the guys are playing over there. Jenny, you're going to do a phenomenal job like guys, you always do. Guys, thank you. Second and six of the 16. New quarterback in for Ohio State, Kyle McCord. Offside. Defense number 98. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. Uh, you know, I mean, tongue in cheek, but Gus, I mean, that's that's really, you know, the the ceiling for a quarterback is is only as high as his wide receivers can build the frame. Al McCord, five-star prospect, was the nation's number three quarterback in the class of 2021. Hayden. It's a good work in today. Hendon Hooker at Tennessee, Blake Corum at Michigan. You know, I, and I've always thought, Gus, you need stages to win that trophy. Third down and one at the 31. Hayden again. First down. Ballard. A gain of 23 yards. I snap, handle, Hayden. But here's the question. Why would you go to a school when there, if you're that prolific of a, a prep player, when there's a huge chance that you not, might not get a chance to play? The two first-round wide receivers from last year, right? You got Chris Olave and Garrett Wilson. They're right now, by the way, as far as yardage goes, the top two rookie receivers in the National Football League. There's a lot of speculation out there that, oh, you know, he's going to shut it down and just go to the NFL. Jackson Smith and Jigba is a competitor. He wants to play. He wants to play for Ohio State. He can't get himself healthy as of yet. He's going to try to get on the field. Ryan Day would love to have him on the field, obviously. But as of right now, it remains uncertain whether he's going to be able to get back for that Michigan game or for a Big Ten championship game or potentially for a playoff. So the final score, 56 to 14. Ohio State, second-ranked team in the country, remains undefeated, but there are questions now, especially in their running back room. Let's go downstairs to Jenny.